How's it going, everybody? Uh, doing an eating video here today. This is something I don't think I've had in a long time. I used to get these from the uh, ice cream truck when I was a kid. I was trying to think if I actually did a video on these, but I, I didn't. I'm pretty sure I didn't, at least. So I picked these up at Big Lots today. Well, yesterday I'm filming this Thursday. It's going to probably go up Friday. It might go up Sunday, but it's probably uh, Saturday. But it's a uh, bottle of caps. <laughs> these things are classic. At least this is not an original box. I think for these they came in a different box back in the day. But you got root beer flavor, cherry, grape, uh, cola, and orange. The soda pop candy. Yeah. So I'll just be eating these and uh, ram <clears throat> rambling a little. here or maybe root uh, maybe regular cola some grapes and an orange yeah that's regular actually that's root beer so the other one was cola around tonight they're probably start like it's supposed to be 7 30 but probably start quarter to eight mariners are down to nothing they blew their first game in the ninth i watched the second episode of season two of Chucky before. Show's pretty good. It's uh, the first season I really liked. It was over the top, like tons of kills, like everybody was getting killed. And this one is kind of similar. a ton of comedy in there like the movies I mentioned that we were watching uh, the newer Are You Afraid in the Dark? So I guess it started in like 19, and I guess it's continuing this year. Paramount Plus has the first two seasons. Third one's harder. You have to like buy the episodes. The first season only three episodes. We watched those. They were all connected to each other, so it was like the Midnight Society. If you remember the original ones, I watched some of it because it started. I think it started when I was like seventh grade, so I did watch some of it, and then I kind of 
and just stopped. of those originals over before the years but this one uh like I said this was three they're all connected to the actual mid size midnight side of themselves so I don't know how the second season is gonna be if they can be like standalone things. Yeah, it used to be Big Lots has them, ShopRite, have the Mountain Dew Voodoo. I wonder if they'll bring a ginger snap one back. started my drink reviews i actually picked up uh, so i'm gonna do a drink review on it it's another bang but it's like a regular drink it's not an energy drink it has no caffeine in so i got that big loss i'm kind of tempted to, it's the wilding wilding watermelon one which i'm pretty sure i did a review on the energy drink version of it so kind of curious to see how this one tastes i still gotta get to the uh, <coughs> I'm gonna get to the uh, exotic shops on the island again. I just you probably saw that I like blew out some of the dust when I chewed went on the front of the mic. I picked up Game Pass again. It's a buck. I always pick up Game Pass when it's a dollar. I probably did it like 10 times. If I'm playing something I'm into and I haven't completed it, I'll let it roll over for like 15, I guess Ultimate's 15. Um, I wanted to play Immortals Phoenix Rising, and I still probably will, but... I got the stupid shit where you gotta sign in with a Ubisoft account. I'm like, fuck you. It's annoying to like have to sign out, then go back into the game because I was had to do that with Doom as well. It's fucking annoying. It's like, dude, I don't wanna play. I don't wanna sign into your bullshit. has been around for a while but and the one that came out on the xbox the ps2 i guess it was like a remasters version or something i played that for like 20 minutes a couple other things on there i'm interested in checking out Soon, a Persona 5 Royal Edition, whatever the fuck it's called, is coming the 21st to Game Pass. So, I was considering buying it on the Wii, uh, not the Wii, geez. 
the Switch, but uh, I thought I'll just play it on the Game Pass. I might try to grab a Series X, not one of these days, but maybe in the coming, like the next month. I'm getting the itch, but. to come out that are like strictly for it. I don't give a fuck if they look a bit better than the Xbox One. I don't care. I want games that like not gonna be on the Xbox One. Like I think the new Plague Tale game is not on the Xbox One. So I don't want to throw five hundred dollars down to play fucking games that a I've already played that look a little bit better. I don't care. But I understand why they release them across on the older consoles too, because not everybody's quick to jump at these new systems these days, and that's understandable. Because I'm not either. Although. I will say, I was, before they both come out, I was like, you know, maybe I'll get a PS5 at launch. I hadn't done that in a while. You know, even last gen, well, going back, the last time I nailed the system actually on its launch day was the, um, it might actually been the day after it launched, whatever, though, right in that immediate window, was a GameCube. Um, I got the 360 like six months after it came out. Uh, PS3 I'd gotten like a year after it was out. Um, um, and then the Xbox One, even the Wii U, we'd gotten like two years after the Wii U came out in 2012. Got that 2014, and then the, the Xbox One came out in, what, 2013? We got that, like, the end of 2016, so... It's already been two years since these systems came out, which is crazy, but... I'll probably have one of them before three years. But, yeah. Um, I was just eating uh, the old, old bottle caps. Oh, excuse me, and rambling a little bit there, but uh, thanks for checking this out, and have a good day.